All right, now, I didn't get my lady president when we did this shit four years ago, and you saw how that worked out, right? At the very least, y'all owe me a lady vice president behind a really old guy. And that seems to be what we've got on tap for this election. And I know that not everybody is sold on Kamala Harris. She impresses the hell out of me for several reasons, but I understand there are legitimate reasons a person could be standoffish about her candidacy. But none of those legitimate reasons are the fact that she's a demonic force sent by the devil to destroy Trump. Look, if you so much as heard of Christianity, you knew they were going to lose their shit at a female Veep. And a black one, no less. And we got exactly what we were expecting in the hours and days after Biden made his announcement. Presidential Medal of Freedom despoiler Rush Limbaugh declared Harris a hoe and a mattress and accused her of using sex to get ahead. His reasoning, of course, was that she was both a woman and a head. Laura Ingram said the choice was, quote, a box-checking exercise for the woke crowd, end quote. Dinesh D'Souza launched a new weird-ass form of birtherism to go after Kamala's blackness. But my favorite bit of shit losing came from Lance Wallnow, who did an emergency live stream on Facebook in the wake of the announcement and told his viewers that Satan was using Senator Harris to take down President Trump. After assuring his audience that she was not intelligent, just able to fake it really well, he accused her of being part of the deep state and a, quote, Jezebel spirit, end quote, which Right Wing Watch describes as, quote, an evil and cunning demonic female spirit intent on attacking God and those who worship him, end quote. Now, you'll notice that basically all of these misogynistic attacks tend to gravitate back to the questioning of her qualifications. She's not really intelligent, even though her intelligence would suggest otherwise. She's not really qualified, even though her resume suggests otherwise. She didn't really get there on her merits, even though the person who now holds the job has nowhere near the merits that she brings to the table. She can't possibly be qualified in their minds because for them, the point is the point. So look, regardless of how you feel about her, Kamala Harris needs to be our next vice president. And as if to offer up a preview of what we're in for if we harumph around, fuck this election up too, and let these evangelical conspiracy theorists have a second term. I have a story out of Brazil to close this off on. And trigger warning because it is a really fucked up one. So this story starts when a little girl who has been sexually abused by her uncle for years winds up pregnant. So with her grandmother's help, she made her way to the hospital for an abortion. The doctor said no, though, because abortion is evil. This led to a legal battle, and eventually a court did authorize the abortion, noting that her life is very much in danger if she's forced to carry the pregnancy to term. But then an alt-right activist leaked information about where and when that was scheduled to happen, and protesters showed up to block the entrance and scream at this little girl that she was a murderer. A murderer. Eventually, she was taken to a different facility and got the abortion, but holy shit, If the Biden-Harris ticket puts a bad taste in your mouth, just think about how much worse it would taste to know you were facilitating that. And with the promise that I'm not going to read your angry emails anyway, I'll wrap it up there and hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.